Okay, guys, um, this is just a bit of a feedback on um, that uh, task that you had to uh, complete for CPOD and CPRR. So I just quickly want to go through that and show you uh, what was expected. So uh, this is more or less what you were given. Um, and then you had the template that you had to build up uh, this uh, structure and basically do the same calculations as um, what we um, discussed in the in the lectures so um, firstly you uh, did your site establishment so all of these items we uh, I did for you so you had a logical flow um, of your pro a project and your cash flow okay so I just want to put this on the screen so um, uh, you have been appointed as a construction manager on a new uh, house construction project and have to calculate the working capital needed. You are given the table 4.1 which includes the projected cash flow expenditure for the duration of the project. Okay, so you've got um, uh, that's the uh, sketch of the project and then first parameter is uh, these values include a 5% contribution to profit and overheads so it's your value or it's your cost plus five percent okay so we'll get to that now and then you've got a ten percent retention is applied to payments at the end okay so that's straightforward and then you've got your costs are to be paid at the end of the month of which they occur okay so remember there's two things you've got your cost and then you've got your interim payments your interim payments are done two weekly okay but your costs, that's now your buying costs and your labor costs and all those. Those costs, is, it's only going off out of your account uh, at the end of the month. Whereas you're getting it, an income every two uh, weeks. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. So because this might have thrown you off a little. So then the final question is calculate your working capital required at the end of both month one and two. Okay, so um, working capital is your um, outflow of money minus your inflow. Okay, so um, I think that's fairly straightforward. Um, so getting back to the um, to the example, so uh, your weekly uh, value of work done. Remember, this is values. Is basically just adding those columns very straightforward and you pull your formula through you've got your cumulative value which is uh, in your first month is just that one in your second month is just the previous month plus that month I think that's fairly straightforward and then um, sorry okay and then you go on and then you just pull your formula through and you will see that it's basically that so you've got your cumulative value so after month one you've done 24,000 uh, rands worth of work month after my oh sorry week one after week two 204 and then you can actually put in your first claim second claim third claim etc okay so I think that uh, everyone understands okay then so we're only focusing here at, at that section now. So your cumulative uh, cost is your cumulative value deducted your 5% markup that you have. Okay. So now this is um, where your monthly or 100% is basically your um, your value of work or your cost uh, is 100 percent and then you add a five percent so you will see that there is um subtracting that um five percent from your uh, actual value uh is done in the manner of if you 24,000 rand um that value of work that you've done is your cost plus five percent okay so now you want to deduct that five percent which is now basically um, that hundred so it's your, um, your cost um, your cost is represented with by the hundred and the hundred and five is the value that you're claiming from 
your client okay I hope that makes sense uh, if not um, I'll um, you can just pop me a mail if that is a different a difficult thing to understand but it's it's the same with adding that and subtracting that that's that um, that calculation basically so you've got your cumulative weekly cost um, that you calculate um, basically from your cumulative value so that's just calculated on each of them again with uh, the 204 you just subtract your 5% um, markup and you continue like that okay then you've got uh, your um, you pull that through with your formula okay now your claims comes in so then you've got your um, your income so after month and, or week one and two there's no income here you put in your first claim and it's paid out two weeks after okay so it is your total cumulative value after week two is 204,000 rand so you can claim that but now you need to remember there's a retention that's also applied to that okay so your your hundred percent that you're claiming is the 204 but the actual amount that you're gonna get is that hundred um, was that hundred percent minus your ten percent so you're gonna get a 90 over 100 I think that's fairly straightforward okay so that's your first claim so you accumulate okay and then I just added a cumulative income here as well um, just to show you um, what the cumulative uh, income would be okay so the, after uh, the first two month um, two weeks of work uh, you can claim 183,000 and it's paid out after week uh, the fourth week okay then your after week four you put in your um, your second claim on uh, 424,000 rands work worth of work done okay so your income is your total value uh, done to date minus your previous certificate okay I think that's straightforward and then just subtracting your uh, retention um, to get your um, income or your claim for that month okay that's straightforward and then you just your cumulative value is just that one minus that one okay so the question goes up to month two so you just do the same for the red and the next one is after the sixth week you can actually put in your your claim which is paid out after week eight so if you put that one on then you've um, you your total work done minus your previous claim to get your amount and then you've got your um, cumulative amount here at the bottom okay then getting to your um, working capital that is um, also uh, getting back to your working capital um, is your outflow minus your inflow okay just put this one back there so now your cumulative um, income so this is your cumulative cost minus your cumulative income okay so um, our cumulative income um, has been or um, costs up to uh, at the end of month one was four hundred and three thousand now this you have to pay to your salaries and your suppliers and so on so this is your actual cost that you have okay and then you have your cumulative income um, for that month is hundred and eighty three thousand um, so it's just a um, hundred and eighty three thousand six hundred minus your cost and that's your credit deficit after month one okay then the same applies after month one your cumulative costs amounted to 902,000 uh, thus your expenditure or your uh, cash deficit or your capital that you need um, after month one is um, your inflow minus your outflow Oh, sorry your um, outflow minus your inflow it, you can do it vice versa the one will just give you a positive answer and the other one will be a negative so it's usually easier if you do your cost minus your income because if it's negative then you know you are, have a deficit um, so that's the rationale behind that okay and then um, 
if you want to do some extra practice you can actually do it for month three as well and um yeah that's more or less it so thanks guys i'll be posting this um answer for you on on blackboard together with this video um so yeah if there is any questions please do not hesitate to contact me um yeah thank you